I got my matcha. I got my stuff. I got my Sherlock coat. So today will be a very productive day. <laughs> May is my favorite month because it's finally sunny and warm outside and I have my birthday on 24, yay! However, May at uni means exam season for me. Lately, I study best in the libraries, so I decided to take you guys along, show you my favorite study places in Brno and also activities to do to unwind a bit. Here I am at the library of the Faculty of Informatics. It's rather on the small side, but it's probably the best and most aesthetic place to study at our faculty. I'm honestly very glad I stayed in the library because if I went home earlier, I would probably go to sleep. This is how I feel right now. And Honestly, I don't feel very optimistic right now because I found out that I have to do a whole tutorial on Azure Cloud databases to get a certificate and I thought it would be much easier. So I done that for a while and I also have to start learning for my exams. But I booked a yoga session in like an hour and pilates for tomorrow and bosu for the day after so finally i will probably lose my back pain My boyfriend surprised me with flowers when I came home. He knows I had rather a harsh day as I found out how much I have to do for school. And he left me a motivating note. So sweet. Also guys, let me know if you want to see Genshin Impact. Let's play. for another productive day in the library second in the room my boyfriend wanted to buy some notebooks for his notes because apparently we are in 12th century but like he has tablet already like what? We decided to try Menza at Law Faculty and let me tell you, Law Faculty has such a nice building, I might go study there one day. of the library after like six hours of deep study so yeah I feel good but I needed to change the scenery a bit so I hope I will stay productive on my couch <laughs> also this boy has really loud notebook fans and it's driving me crazy so <laughs> guess someone is buying new notebooks Early. <laughs> this cottage when 
man to the library and back with me. And it's the worst thing you wanna take with you because once it broke in my bag. <laughs> yeah. How do you Also, I'm finally in the testing phase of this tutorial, which was like this long. And uh, yeah. Really wondering how I'll do. I'm going for a Pilates class as a Pilates princess I am. <laughs> uh, also did the yoga yesterday and we did some stand on hands ups. So that was cool. Let's see what they have for us today. Hopefully I will get into the steps after the class. my clocks so made it back home legs don't hurt us that much hey oh god hey so um after my pilates session and i just wanted to say my opinion on these two classes i had uh, because everyone asked right <laughs> It, I guess it's just the definition of being youtuber, right? You give opinion about everything. So here I am giving my opinions uh, So yesterday the yoga was actually great. We also tried some stands on the Some stands on hands and it was quite cool and it was nice to kind of slow down a bit Good, because actually I prefer these higher pace workouts, but since I was sick for almost 10 days, I didn't want to like push myself right into some circle training or something like that. So I did yoga, it was nice. But like after a session, I, I wanted to talk about one thing that struck me. And <laughs> uh, we did these stands. And then there was one older lady and she came to the trainer and she uh, told her like Oh, I'm not surprised you're so good in it. You don't have any boobs or booty. And I was like, girl, you just... You didn't just say that. Like, can just people mind their business, mind their own bodies and stop saying shameful things like this? It's shameful to say to someone that they have i don't know big body and that's the same for like telling someone that they are super tiny or that they don't have any boobs like i think it's very hurtful and i know like that woman was older but it's and this generation kind of don't get this but still like we shouldn't tolerate this and i'm kind of sad i didn't say anything to her but I just didn't know what to say and the trainers uh, I think she's like very self-conscious so I hope that's fine but with her maybe it's not like I don't know I just felt like I should talk about this and prevent this maybe <laughs> problem happening again so that's the first thing and the second, I, I just came back from Pilates and it was nice. It's like this slow burn when you're in the same position for a very long time and everything shakes and hurts and that's how I felt. And it was maybe too slow for me. Like I checked my watch like 10 times, maybe even more. So I think I will continue with my higher pace workouts. I just felt like I need to say this. So if you see me doing yoga in the future, probably I'm coming from some illness. However, it's still nice to slow down a bit sometimes. I have ter terrible back pain, so I need to work out. <laughs> it's 
scoliosis team. The next morning, me and my sister went for brunch, which was very much needed sister time. We don't spend much quality time together lately, as she is very busy with studying architecture at uni. <laughs> this place is called Buchta B and they have gluten-free pancakes, can you believe it? I ordered the Canadian style with bacon and maple syrup and they are delicious. Later we decided to buy a little cute painting for my mother, as Mother's Days were very close. And then I headed back to the library. Beautiful Saturday morning. Got my matcha with me and I'm going to the library. All this new labor, new uh, on another faculty, and it's super cool. And I'm glad I can change my surroundings. This library at Social Studies faculty is currently my favorite. It's huge, it's very nice, and also the people there are always so stylish. I always make some side notes about outfit inspo. <laughs> Here I am studying for my information retrieval exam, where we had a lot of tutorials, so I used my tablet to write things down. And honestly, the tablet is my favorite device for studying and I highly recommend it for uni. Whether it's for taking notes during lecture and writing right into the slides, or to do some calculations for tutorials. Or to read papers even. I don't like to read papers on my computer to be honest. It doesn't even need to be expensive tablet. I have Samsung one and it works super well. I did some damage and bought three books and I might do a little book haul uh, video one day. <laughs> we are going on a date and I used makeup for like third time in my life and I <laughs> immediately look better so that probably says something. <laughs> And I'll show you pics of my outfit.
boyfriend visited a bar called Slust, which is pretty famous bar, I would say. But to be honest, I didn't like it that much as other bars from the same owner. So eventually we decided to go to my favorite coffee slash bar, Podnik, and have some cheaper cocktails and wine there. Can we end our evening then with fancy dinner, right? Proper meal 